<laughs> so I thank you for uh, convening this hearing. Thank you for your proposal for the commission, which I support. How wisely to handle counterterrorism is an ongoing issue for our nation's future. How to handle counterterrorism is too important to sweep the past under the rug. The public and not merely insiders need to understand what has happened. Those who don't understand errors of the past are condemned to repeat them, and surely will. We all want to move forward wisely, but it is not possible wisely to move forward unless we fully understand what we have done. The first step must be to know all the facts. But beyond basic facts, we need to know how were decisions made, who was consulted and who was not consulted. We also need to know beyond the basic facts what were the consequences of our actions. And we need to know beyond the basic facts what are the root causes of having gone down a path that was inconsistent with our values and seems to have broken the law. I, I would put excessive governmental secrecy and um, limited oversight as among the most important root theses. I personally believe and have testified before uh, that our descent into tactics like torture abandoned the rule of law and undermined American values and that doing so made us less safe. That thesis needs to be tested. For if it is true, it is surely important to our country and its public as we consider what to do when there is another terrorist attack in this country as there surely will be, hopefully not as horrible as the one before. But we surely will get it and we have to make sure that the next time we don't make mistakes of the sort that seem to have been made in, prior, in the prior years. Now the benefits of a nonpartisan commission of inquiry Go, which you've proposed, go far beyond understanding the facts. Such a commission can help bring all Americans together. Because after all, issues like belief in the rule of law, issues like understanding and appreciating the basic American values do not divide the parties in this country. So a commission that proceeds fairly and is nonpartisan actually can help to bring our country together. And secondly, a commission that investigates the facts, puts forward a report that tells the country and tells the world what has happened, admits to mistakes when we made mistakes, praises things that we did well when we did them well. That commission and its action and its report can help restore America's reputation in the world and thus increase our strength and thus make us more safe. The bottom line is we owe it to ourselves and to our country to learn the facts about our government's counterterrorism policies. We know that abuses may have occurred and that the perception of these abuses has undermined our standing in the world and our fight for the hearts and minds of those who could be persuaded us to do us harm. We must not flinch from learning the truth. That is the only way to stay true to our principles, to correct our course, and to restore our moral standing in the eyes of the world. That in turn will make us safer and stronger. For as has been true throughout our more than 200 years of history, America is at its best when we confront our mistakes and resolve not to repeat them. If we do not confront our mistakes, we will decline. But if we do, as this commission can help us do, our future will be worthy of the best of our past. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, thank you very, very much, Mr. Schwartz.